And the best part is the audience. It was like yeah. almost every time you'd play like maybe like four notes of a song and people are like, <laughs> My, that's my favorite moment. So is, I was going to say, for you guys on stage, are you aware of the audience I mean, reacting just throughout the show? When I'm on the couch for uh, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow, she plays the first chord and sing, and sings the first few notes, and the entire audience just collectively goes, oh. Yeah. And I just, like, chuckle as I'm sleeping on the couch. <laughs> the night I went, it was uh, You've Got a Friend. It was just, like, every... Is that typical, or is it, like, every night a different song? It's it's Sometimes it's all of them. Some, and sometimes it's just the tapestry songs. And, and you're like, oh, you were here to hear tapestry. So, and, and we're in the last 20 minutes, and we're going to do that for you. <laughs> now, okay, here we go. Ding, ding, ding. But, yeah, it's... it's You've Got a Friend is a, is a big one, yeah. I would imagine that helps you feel more like these people. When people are react, because that's how people react when Carol sings these songs, you know. Yeah, and it, it makes you realize the power of of shows like this because it, it instantly music is so powerful and it instantly transform or transports the audience, you know, back to where they were when they first heard that song, you know. And and doing a show like this or, or any other jukebox musical of that time, you see people in the audience, you know, grab hands and, and reminisce of these memories that they had from from these incredible songs. Yeah. Do you guys have a favorite song to perform? I know that's like a Sophie's choice, but mine mine changes. It used to be "It's Too Late," and I still I really love doing "It's Too Late" every night. Cause it's I, that was my favorite one of her songs. And like all, coming in, that was your favorite. Yeah, that was like you know the song I had on my like Spotify playlist and, and you know breakup playlist and whatever. Uh, but now it's definitely beautiful. I, I I used to kind of feel like when I was singing it, I I I didn't believe it, and I felt kind of like I need to believe what I'm singing because I'm trying to make other people believe it. You know what I mean? Like you're as beautiful as you feel like, well, I don't feel beautiful today. I feel however I feel, you know, or whatever. And and so I think it, it's as much for me as it is for the audience. And so it's, it's kind of like an, a daily affirmation. You know what I mean? You, you tell yourself like, I am, I'm enough or, or whatever, you, you know, you, you tell yourself when you get up and you look in the mirror and but it, and it's it's like a I'm I'm good enough every day getting to end my day that way. Yeah, especially at the point that that song song comes in, you've seen her journey, and you can really sort of, I mean, for me, it helped me relate more to the lyrics of Tapestry because I maybe didn't fully understand all the stuff she had been through. Definitely it makes it extra special. How about you? What's a favorite song for you to perform? I really love singing "Take Good Care of My Baby," but I I think that it's. Sort of because it's terrifying to me. Uh, I would say on uh, up on the roof because it, it comes out of nowhere. It's there's no accompaniment for the first you know few bars of the song, and so I kind of just have to be like, okay, here we go. Um, and you know I get a cue note, but it's terrifying. And there, but there's something thrilling about that. Um, and I, I also just love singing the tune. Yeah. 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 